great. <laughs> right, now, what else do I need? Oh, no. um, oh. uh, excuse me, uh, you might find it easy if you get yourself a trolley. Oh, good idea. Yeah, they're just over there. Uh, uh, OK. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I think I'd better help her in case she drops everything. Uh, oh. Too late. Oh, oh dear. Let me help. Oh, oh. I think I walked into the wall. Oh, there you are. I'll give you a hand. We'll put everything into the trolley. Oh, no, the trolley's stuck. Stand back. I'm going to pull the trolley out. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh. oh, let me help you. Thank you. We both seem to be spending a lot of time on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, my display. It's a bit messy. Oh, yeah, let me help you. Oh, no, no, don't worry. That's my job. Come on, let's sort your shopping out first. Uh, OK. <laughs> so why is the shopping trolley stuck? Oh, it's attached to a chain. Hold on. I remember, do you? In some supermarkets, to release the trolley, you need to put a coin into the slot and then you can take it away. Here we go. There we are. One trolley. Now we can put the shopping in. Oh, it doesn't look any cleaner to me. If anything, it looks worse. Oh, yes, you're right. Um, perhaps it needs more water. The judge will be here soon, and my window looks dirtier than ever. Oh, dear. Um, I don't know what's wrong. There must be something that I'm not doing. Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? Window cleaners use soapy water when they want to get windows nice and clean. I've got plenty of water, but I haven't got any soap. Um, you haven't got anything to make my water soapy by any chance, have you? I've got just the thing. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> Perfect. Sparkling windows, here we come. How's it looking? Delighted. <laughs> Keep going, nearly there. All we needy is a little squeegee. <laughs> well done, Sid. My windows look lovely. <laughs> now can you see what I sell? Gobstoppers, strawberry flavoured laces, coloured candy, and look, my favourite, jelly fried eggs. And hopefully now we're in with a chance of winning the County's Cleaners Village Award. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to finish polishing my gobstoppers off. <laughs> and coming up next, couple number seven. Oh no, that's us. Where are you? Oh, come on! <laughs> Done. Same, and we always agree on everything. I don't, except for him. Oh, well, hello. Uh, maybe you can answer a question for me. Gladly. Gladly. Why do pirates talk in that funny way? What funny way? You know, with all that wow stuff. No, oh, that's not how we really talk. We're just putting that voice on for fun. This is how I normally talk. I don't put it on. This is my real voice. 
Is it? Oh. OK, whatever. Well, I'm Rebecca, and I'm here to help you find treasure. That'd be very good. The pirates are all very cross. It's getting a bit ugly down there. Everyone in a bad mood, are they? No, they're all just ugly. And yes, they're all in a bad mood too. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I'm feeling a bit... Oh, what's wrong with him? That's another thing we're all feeling in a bad mood about. Everyone's feeling a bit sick and we haven't had a drink. And if we don't have a drink, we can't do any work. Oh, no. If we don't get these pirates and drinking water soon, we'll be stuck here. What are we going to do? Hold on. I remember to you. Pirates used to store their drinking water in barrels, so they had enough for long journeys. We need to find your barrels of water. But we don't have any. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to find some then. What, out here in the middle of nowhere? Surrounded by nothing but ocean. Except for that ship that I've just seen. What other ship? That one. Well, no sign of any three-toed sloths yet. <laughs> Although I can hear something. Oh, I do hope it's not a huge lizardy dinosaury fear sharp tooth feast. <laughs> oh, it does sound huge. <laughs> and lizardy and dinosaury. <laughs> That's it. Got you, you pesky little shoelace. For you! It's not a huge lizardy dinosaur for your sharp toothed beast, it's. Wolfie Bromley, extreme jungle survivalist. You can call me Wolfie. Oh, hi, Wolfie. I'm Rebecca, brand new jungle explorer. So, do you know everything about the jungle? What I don't know about the jungle isn't worth knowing. Do you know all the animals in the rainforest? Of course I do. I know them all by name. Oh, wow, look. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Uh, what's that called? It's called Bruce. Bruce? Oh, that's a funny name for a butterfly. Oh, look, it's, it's gone. Oh, yes. Tricky little flappers, butterflies. Maybe you can help me find a three-toed sloth. <laughs> of course I can help you find a... What do you call it again? A three-toed sloth. They don't call me the sloth sleuth for nothing. Fantastic. Well, we need to get a picture of a three-toed sloth before sunset. Leave it to me. I'm sure there's one back there. Somewhere. Keep up. And if you can't, don't panic. My friends in the Amazonian tribes taught me everything you need to know about leaving trails. Here it is. Yes. Oh, no. That bell. I've really got to... Uh, what? Here. Uh, Here. Uh, oh. uh. Hello? You called? Yes. My bandages come loose. Could you tie it up again? Of course. How did it come loose? Well, I was trying to reach for my chocolates and it caught on the side of the bed. Oh, there you are. Don't worry, I'll have it tied up in no time. Would you like a chocolate nurse? Oh, what have you got? <gasps> Lots of different ones. Noisette, nougat, praline. What exactly is praline? I've no idea. Ooh. But would you like one? Oh, no, not for me. Not while I'm on duty. There, done. I better get back to my other patients. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Thank you. Nurse? Nurse! Uh, you've tied me to the drawer! Oh. Sorry about that. That's all right. You must be very busy. <laughs> yes, I can tell you the results of the football now. <sighs> Let's see now. Football results. Uh... Help! <gasps> Help! What? <gasps> What's that? What? <laughs> Have they won? <gasps> what are you doing? You tied me to the drawer! <laughs> Did I? Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I was distracted by the chocolates. I haven't been doing this job very long. Maybe I need a little bit more practice. Don't worry, we'll tie you back into the bandage. There, good as new. Thank you, nurse. I didn't want to carry that drawer around everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a chucky? Oh, not for me, thanks. I've got another patient who needs my help. This is more like it. Oh, I can see Madame has an eye for quality. Imagine that, a purple wall hanging, a purple sofa cover, or even half a pair of purple curtains. Oh, perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Enjoy. Don't try wearing it, though, will ya? <laughs> Everyone knows that, right? Right? <laughs> That's better. Much warmer. I'm as snug as a bug in a purple rug. Excuse me, is this the way into Rome? Mm, what? Halt! Oh, sorry. Hail! Hail! Hail? Nope, it looks pretty sunny to me. No, hail, mighty emperor. Emperor? <laughs> no, I'm not the emperor. You're not? No, you know, I'm just... Well, then you're under arrest. That's what you are. 
But why? I haven't done anything wrong. Emperor's Tropicus will not be happy about this. Your punishment will be terrible. It'll almost definitely involve some very hungry lions. Very hungry lions? Come on, it's off to prison with you. Oh, dear. I need to get into the city to help Symantecus' brother. But how can I persuade the guard not to arrest me if I don't even know what I've done wrong? Oh, no, what am I going to do? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. That's it. It's forbidden for anyone who isn't the Emperor to wear purple. I need to take this blanket off and fast. There you go. Makes a lovely tent door, so I've been told. Sorry about the mix-up. That's all right. Enjoy your visit. Time for us to do this thing. Here he goes towards the first jump. We can do it. And... Oh, a great first jump from Sid and Champion. Can he beat Mary Ann Fetlock, I wonder? No, he can't. What? Well done, Champion. If Sid can make it round the course with no mistakes, he could win the competition. Go on, Sid. You can do it. Another good jump for Sid. He's coming up to the final difficult jump. He needs to get over this without knocking any of the poles over if he wants to win. Whoa! Ooh. And Champion pulls up at the last jump. Some champion jumper he is. Come on, Champion. We can do it. I know we can. <laughs> but how? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? If a horse refuses to jump, the rider can settle it and reassure it by stroking its neck and asking it to try again. Let's try that. Coochie coochie coo. There you are. Good boy, Champion. Now, come on, let's try that again, shall we? Good boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness, he's going for the big final jump. Will he get over it? Will he beat Mary and Fetlock? <laughs> he will! And it's super fast time. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Oh, no, I can't go on. What is it? What now? I've lost my plectrum. What am I going to do? What's a plectrum? It's a small piece of plastic. I use it to pluck the strings of my guitar when I'm playing it. I can't play without it. A small piece of plastic? Hold on. I know what we can use, do you? Of course. I knew this plastic thingy would come in handy. You can have this. That's it. It's a plectrum. It's perfect. Ha, let's go. Right, this time we really are going. Why hasn't the music started? Why is everyone looking at me? Am I supposed to be doing something here? Oh, hold on. I remember to you. When a rock band plays live, usually the drummer starts with one, two, three, four, to get the song going. And I'm the drummer, so I need to say one, two, three, four, so we can get started. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We're totally amazing and we've just arrived. Five, four, three, two, one. Playing in a rock band so much fun. We're totally amazing. Come on, let's play Christmas Elves! Whoa! <laughs> so where are we? Wow, this is amazing! It's a bit chilly, though. This must be the North Pole. Surely Father Christmas can't live in there. Afternoon. Here goes. Someone's coming. Yes? Hello, um, I'm a Christmas elf. My name's Rebecca. Uh, elf Rebecca. I'm here to help Father Christmas. Oh, well, why didn't you say so, Elf Rebecca? Come on in. It's all hands on deck at the moment. It's me! I'm out! Great! What do we do now? <gasps> Dragon! What should we do? Run! Great 
idea! So, what's the plan? Uh, plan? What plan? Well, you're the knights doing the rescuing. How are we going to escape? Uh, uh, keep running. Oh, that's just great. You came here without anything for us to make a getaway with. What sort of knight are you? A scared one! Ah! <sighs> I can't go much further. What are we going to do? We need to go faster. Oh, hold on. I remember to you. Knights rode trusty steeds, which is another name for a horse. We need to get a horse! It's Rebecca on the ball, just Muldeen to beat. <coughs> oh, he's fouled her! This should be a penalty. Penalty! So, it's a penalty to the Blues. This must be their last chance. If Rebecca can score for the Blues, she can win the game and win them the championship. Can she score? Come on, Rebecca, you can do it! Oh, no. He looks very good. Which side shall I kick it? Oh, I don't know, but I'm sure he's going to save it. Oh, I remember, do you? Players sometimes try and trick the goalkeeper by pretending to kick the ball one way, but making it go the other way. That's it. I'll try and trick him. Let's have an adventure.